All right, guys, happy Friday. Welcome back, Concepts and Training. I'm gonna start expanding into actual some of these exercises that you might see, why you might use them, how they apply, and what really, who they would benefit, and when you might throw them in a training program. So, one that's always been a little uh, interesting to me, the floating heel movement, especially the trap bar deadlift, because when we look at building foot strength, when we look at um, the structure of your foot, and hopefully don't fall over rolling on this thing, when we look at the structure of your foot, you have all these different muscles and tendons, you have your plantar fascia, they basically act as a network in this web, right? So it's all kind of compacted in your foot. Now, there's 206 bones in the human body, but 52 of them are in your feet, right? So basically your foot's got the ability to splay out, and it's got the ability to compress and kind of bring all those bones together to form something very, very rigid. So if you're trying to train, if you're trying to build up strength, in those feet, we can start to implement certain exercises. Now, if we're trying to just regular squat or regular deadlift and trying to go for max weight, I'm gonna turn this so you can see this, I want flat feet. I wanna make my feet as wide as possible to create the biggest base possible to put force through. But if I'm trying to create some speed, the ability to explode, the ability to create power out of my feet, right, especially for those that are field sport athletes, um, those that are on a court, sprinters, things like that, we need to be able to apply force through a smaller area, right, because the ball of the foot's where we're contacting the ground, and we can leverage the stiffness of that foot to be able to create power, to be able to use some of the elasticity of the tendons and ligaments in the foot, to be able to propel ourselves forward, upward, you name it. So that's where that trap bar deadlift or the floating heel trap bar deadlift comes in, is we can then load up, and I'm gonna turn you from the side so you can see those heels float. But what we're gonna try to do is compress the foot to make it as narrow as possible, pushing through the balls of the feet, and then being able to explode. I just want my heels to stay about, you know, an inch or so off the ground. And notice, back angle changes a little bit because it's gonna pitch me forward a little bit more. My knees are probably gonna go a little bit more over my toes. My chest still has to stay up, but I'm pushing through and creating this springing motion. Now, it's one of those things, especially if you're a beginner, might not be the best option because it is a balance component that goes into it. But being able to understand that implementing that exercise is going to be a, a way to increase foot strength. So being able to understand now, it's not a beginner's thing. You need to be able to splay out and spread that foot out to be able to create some of that forceful base and that strong base. But then when we're trying to create power, trying to create explosion, trying to create force development through some of those smaller areas, that's when we're gonna start using some of those floating heel movements. So depending on what your goal is, depending on the outcomes you're after, being able to get into some of those positions, being able to use some of those exercises. If you see something with a floating heel, look into why. And if you're one of those athletes that thinks you need to be able to develop some more force uh, through the balls of your feet, that might be something you might look into using in your training program.